you're going to have a cardiac CT scan. This film will explain what the scan will involve and allow you to prepare for the test. CT scanning uses x-rays. The team at Derriford are some of the most experienced in the world and we have a very good record of keeping our x-ray levels to a minimum. The overall risk from this test is therefore low. The scan itself is painless and it's pretty quick, lasting just a few seconds. But please expect to be in the department for 30 to 60 minutes. When you arrive, the receptionist will book you in. We'll need you to remove metal objects around your neck and chest, including any clothing with metal clips or buttons, necklaces, and anything in your top pockets, like coins or phones. If we need you to remove clothing, we'll give you a gown to wear instead. We do this because these things reduce the quality of the pictures. But otherwise, because it's not a magnet scanner, all other clothing and jewellery are safe, as are pacemakers and other implants. We then need to record your height and weight and put a small plastic tube called a cannula into a vein in your arm so we can give you x-ray dye later on. You'll be asked a number of safety questions about any medical problems you might have and whether you've had x-ray dye before. Once you come into the scan room, you'll be asked to lie down on the scanner bed. You'll have sticky dots attached to your chest so we can monitor your heartbeat, which is an important part of how the CT scanner works. We'll then ask you to practice holding your breath as well as seeing how long you can manage, we're also watching what happens to your heart rate. The scanner works by taking pictures in between heartbeats when your heart is still. If your heart's too fast, there isn't long enough to do that and, like photographing any moving object, we might get blurry pictures. We may need to gently slow your heart down a little using a drug called a beta blocker. Beta blockers are very safe and most people tolerate them very well. They're a little different to the tablets that some patients have had before and they work very quickly, but wear off quickly too. They're quite selective, which means they mostly work just on the heart, which also helps to reduce side effects. In fact, most people don't notice they've had the beta blockers at all. You'll then be connected to the X-ray dye. You'll move in and out of the scanner a few times for some planning scans. That machine does get slightly noisy. It's just a motor spinning around, nothing for you to worry about. Okay. You'll be asked to breathe in and hold your breath each time, and it's important that you try and take roughly the same size breath on each occasion. The radiographer will warn you when the x-ray dye is about to start. The dye might give you a strange taste in your mouth or make you feel warm all over. It might get so warm down below that you feel like you've wet yourself. You won't have done, but it's a strange feeling. These things wear off quickly, within a few seconds. They're normal, so try to ignore them and concentrate on holding your breath. If you breathe during the scan or your heart rate is too fast, we might need to do it again. If not, that'll be the end of the scan and you'll be free to leave the room. The results will be sent to the doctor that requested the test. We'd like you to stay in the department for about 10 minutes after the scan or 20 minutes if we've given you beta blockers. By this time, the beta blockers will have reached their maximum effect. It's important that you bring your medicines on the day of your test or a list of what you're currently taking so we can make sure it's safe to give you beta blockers and x-ray dye. Some people are allergic to x-ray dye, so let us know if you've had any problems with it before. Please don't stop any of your medicines before the scan. This is different to some other heart tests you may have had. It's essential that you don't have any caffeine before you come for your scan. This includes tea, coffee, chocolate, and particularly cola or energy drinks, all of which contain enough caffeine to raise your heart rate. We need your heart rate to be as stable as possible, so please try to give yourself plenty of time to get here and don't overexert yourself on the way in. It might be helpful to practice holding your breath before you come for your appointment. We need about 15 to 20 seconds. We recommend that someone brings you to the hospital or that you use public transport. It should be safe to drive, but we can't always guarantee this, particularly if you need to have any other medicines while you're here. When you come for the test, Please remember this is a partnership between us. We'll do as much as we can to get clear pictures of your heart, but you can really help by holding your breath and keeping your heart rate nice and low by avoiding caffeine, taking your prescribed medicines and trying to keep as relaxed and calm as possible. Hopefully now you have a good understanding about what the test is going to involve. If you have any further questions or worries, please get in touch with us using the number on your appointment letter or you can ask any of the staff on the day.